County Fairgrounds USA, countyfairgrounds.net. Welcome to today's podcast. Hi, this is Karen from County Fairgrounds again, and I have with me Stacey Van Horn from the Pelleup Spring State Fair in Washington State, and their fair is coming up. I think it starts on April 11th. Hi, Stacey. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, so this is actually our Washington State Spring Fair. It's our smaller of our two fairs. It's only a four-day fair, but just as much fun. It's kind of our way of kicking off the spring season every year. And you're right, it starts this Thursday, April 11th, and runs through the 14th. So how many years has the State Fair been going on, the Spring Fair? So the spring, so our state fair started in 1900, and that's our big fair of the year. That's the fall fair that runs for about three weeks. This fair, the spring fair, has been around since 1990, so not quite as long, 90 years younger than the other fair. But in this area, we had done some research back in the late 80s, and it was time, uh, you know, the crowds, the area, the community, they wanted something for spring. And so it started sort of as an arts and crafts show. And it took about three years to plan. And there was no way we were going to be able to do as a big of a party as we do in the fall. But what could we do that would kick off the spring season? And what better than just to do a sort of condensed version of our state fair? And so that's how Spring Fair came to be in 1990. Okay, so what's new and exciting this year? So Spring Fair, what's different from it than our State Fair, Spring Fair is really focused on families. We even kind of divert from our normal Sasquatch mascot, for example, and we have a duck called Quigley. So everything is really focused on the families. Uh, Some new things we have this year is, First and foremost, what we're so excited about is we have the farm at Sillyville. Now, this first opened at our state fair in September, broke ground. This is amazing. The best way to describe this is you can come in and you can be a free farmer for a day. It's this great experience that lets really kids of all ages, I'd say, um, really learn where their food comes from. So you are greeted by this farm that has cows on top of the roof and a windmill and you walk in yeah it's great and you get this lunch box it's a little metal old school lunch box and you walk to a dairy building and the architecture is amazing at the farm at Sillyville in the dairy barn the roof of it is milk cartons and milk bottles in a carton right so you walk in there with your little lunch pail and you get to see there's an animatronic cow and you can see how to milk a cow. You can see the process it goes through until it ends up in that little pint in your school lunch. And so our employees there will hand you a little pint and it's empty. And you put it in your lunchbox and you move along. And then you go to a produce building and you can see how apples come off the trees and how they get to your grocery store shelves. And you can take along an apple and and so on. It's there's a grain building, there's a fresh garden, outdoor garden, and at the end kids turn in these foods and they put them on the shelves in a grocery store and then they get a little prize. It's really our way of keeping agriculture alive. You know, we're the, our state fair is the largest fair in the smallest city in America. And it's one of the biggest fairs in the nation. And while we have to kind of, you know, keep with the times and be progressive and find new and exciting ways to keep people coming back, we always want to keep agriculture at our core so that generations to come can see where their food comes from and understand the importance of agriculture and farming. That sounds great. That seems like a heck of a lot of fun. So um, <laughs> now I have to ask you, what do you have for, you know, the older folks? Do you have things for the older folks? Well, of course we do. Um, so we have a lot of free entertainment uh, throughout Spring Fair. We have strolling entertainment that's fun for all all ages. And then we have a lot of uh, bands, local bands and local acts and magicians and kind of the uh, the ones that you walk by who know how to juggle and sing and do all these acrobatics and stuff. And they're on our free stages. And all of our free stages are open at fairs. So we have four of them. And we have acts going on all day long. Everything from polka band to high school bands uh to as i mentioned you know jugglers things like that so 
that's a lot of fun. And then, of course, something for all ages are the animals. Uh, what would Spring Fair be without the animals? We have, obviously, we have a petting zoo, and we have a lot of the FFA kids who bring, uh, you know, their pigs and their cows, and they're showing rabbits. But we also have a fan favorite here at Spring Fair called Doc Dogs, which is exactly what it sounds like. They are Cape Crusader dogs that come all dressed up, and they walk a plank, run it, I should say, and they jump into a big pool of water, and they win based on how far they can jump. And we have people who come to the fair and sit all day long and watch that repeat of that show and these dogs hour <laughs> after hour free. It's so fun. And then we also have racing piglets. So we do that every year at Spring Fair where these pigs yeah. come and they have I, crazy names, I right? I saw like the pig Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the And pictures. that's a lot of fun. Yeah. So the there's fun, fun to be had for all ages. Um, okay. So it sounds like you have a lot of stuff. And with all the stuff that's going on, the fair is like only four days long. So how much does it really differ from the state fair? I'm curious. You know, the planning stages, and anybody in the fair industry listening to this will know, the planning seems the same. For us, we think, oh, my goodness, we just planned this like we planned the state fair, and it's four days and we're done. So it it really is. A lot goes into it. Um, But the biggest difference, as I mentioned, you know, it is shorter. It's it's definitely shorter. We have, for example, our NBC uh, TV affiliate is on site throughout um, both spring and state fair. At spring fair, they walk around with one reporter and a and a backpack because it's just four days. But at state fair, they have a whole set built. So sort of the magnitude of state fair is what differs a lot. And then the demographic a little bit. So in our grandstand that holds just about 10,000 people, at spring fair, the kind of key entertainment in there is what we call motorsport mayhem at spring fair so that's a monster truck show and a slam fest derby with you know cars that drive around and crash into each other and lots of very loud exciting things like that at our state fair the grandstand is the grandstand has concerts so we have a huge concert lineup uh sponsored by columbia bank every year so we have 20 nights to fill. So, for example, this year coming up in September, we have Keith Urban, who just won Entertainer of the Year last night at the ACMs, mm-hmm. and we have Old Dominion, who won Best Group, and then we have some throwback, too. We have Billy Idol coming, so that's kind of the biggest thing. Our state fair really targets everybody in the state of all ages with all kinds of musical tastes and tastes and rides. And we open the whole grounds for that. State Fair, we open about 75% of the grounds. Okay. Um, What's the weather there like at this time of year? 60s. Right now, the sun's poking through, a little bit overcast. Generally, this time of year is around 60s and can be overcast. Last year, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. We set a record, you know, with weather and attendance for Spring Fair. The year before that, it was pouring rain. It is Washington. Sometimes we do live up to the stereotype of the rain, but not as much as people think. Mm-hmm. Okay, so talk to me a minute for about fair food. What's what's your favorite, and do you have anything new at this spring fair? So my favorite is kind of simple, but I love it. My favorite is Dole Whip, which um, – Disney also sells, uh, but it's kind of like a frozen yogurt type ice cream that's pineapple. That's my favorite. I guess if I had to choose something salty, uh, our giant turkey legs are also another one of my favorites, and we've got that at State and Spring Fair. Uh, what this fair is really known for, I mean, you could actually do an online search and put this in. Um, been here for over 100 years, been featured on Carnival Eats and Food Network and all this are the Fisher scones. That is hands down the number one food that the Washington State Fair is known for. And it's not just your basic scone. You should look it up. It's delicious. Uh, It's a little scone and inside we have honey butter and then a special raspberry jam. So it sounds simple, but it is tasty. 
Um, another fan favorite that we've had, another family, the Sale family, who's been here pretty much since right after the inception of the fair. Also, in the early 1900s, the Sale family does Krusty Pups. So it's not a corn dog. It's a it, it appears that way, but years ago the family teamed up with Krusty's, um, you know, the pancake waffle, and they made this batter, and that's one of our fan favorites. And that's our only new food at Spring Fair. Uh, they that family actually has branched out instead of just selling Krusty Pups. Now they actually have a new frozen blended coffee drink. I think they're trying to get to the parents who have to wait in the line for those crusty cups <laughs> for their kids. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, is, there any, is, yeah. is there anything uh, you want to add? I mean, what about the spring fair that's coming up? What has what has you personally really excited? You know, I love the dock dogs. The thing I love most about spring fair is it's sort of a, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's it's a smaller version of our state fair, um, but it's a way to just kind of kick off the season of spring, even if it's raining, you know, um, and just kind of remind us that spring is coming and all the doldrums of the winter are kind of coming to an end and it gets everybody out and gets, you know, everybody together for all these fun things. It's a very lighthearted fair. I mean, fairs in general are parties, right? And they're a lot of fun. The spring fair in particular is kind of more quaint. Uh, And so I like, it's just, you know, a handful of days and we, remind people that we're here, and we do interim events year-round at our grounds, too, but it's really fun for us because there aren't a lot of other spring fairs. We're the only one in the state, and I know there aren't a lot of fairs throughout the country that do, too, so we kind of pride ourselves in in finding this little niche to kind of, you know, get families out and um, and kick off spring. Okay, and what's the parking situation like? So parking, um, on we have a lot of parking. We have a lot of neighborhood parking, too. That's kind of the benefit of not being right in the middle of a big city. Um, but And we have multiple lots. Thursday, our opening day, parking is free. At State Fair, there is never free parking in our lots. So that's kind of fun for Spring Fair, too. And then Friday through Sunday, it's just $10. And you can okay. reserve online if you want, too. You can get premier parking online for 20 bucks. And anyone who ever has to go up the street to Seattle is used to paying about 50 to go an event up there. So we think it's a deal. And we do we partner with a lot of the local grocery stores and um, have a lot of great sponsors. Uh, so there's lots of ways for people to get great deals if they buy early, buy online, or buy at a discount outlet. Yes, I was really impressed with your website. The website is absolutely cool. Thank you. And you know what? It's going away. We have an even better one coming, launching this summer, so you'll have to look back. It should launch July the latest. Thank you, though. I'll pass that along. Okay, well, have a great spring fair, and it's been a lot of fun talking to you, Stacey. Thanks, Thank you. Karen. Give me a call back this summer if you want to talk before our state fair. That starts August 30th. I will do that. I put you in the phone book. Thanks. Perfect. Okay, have a good week. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> 